Alright everybody, what's going on? It's your boy C4. This is take two of me trying to record this shit for you guys. My fucking recording software has crashed. But we're going to do this one even better. So, as I said uh, in the description of the finale from season one, uh, I was not really... I'm not stopping the Johnny Menzel and LA Raiders Connected career. I just wanted to redo it. Um, with the NFL draft upcoming, it's all I'm watching on TV as a football junkie that I am. And looking back from my Madden 20, uh, 2013 NFL draft, or 20. This isn't the 2014 draft? Whatever. Um, that only played about a third of the guys that were actually supposed to get drafted this year were in my game. So I was like, fuck, that frustrated the shit out of me. So I went back. I deleted this whole connected career. I started playing NCAA for the last week and a half. I have up to 2020 worth of mo uh, imported rosters to draft for this game. I made it so that every big name from this year's draft will be in this in some shape or another. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the running backs, like uh, Trey Mason, um... Uh, fucking bunch of the linebacker stuff. There's projected to go undrafted, but you can only do so much. At least their name's going to be in the game. They're going to be within the system. Um, uh, what else is there to say? Uh, well, yeah, we're the LA Raiders again. As you can see, I went 1 15, which is brutal. I just spent the better part of probably almost an hour uh, quick simming all the games, but I had to go into the game to make sure I lose so I would get that last pick in the fucking draft. And I didn't even do that. The fucking, as much as I tried to lose, 1-15 was not the worst record. The Minnesota Vikings went 0-15-1. Um, oh, and one. So I had to fucking trade the first round pick, or well, the second overall, and our third round pick for their first round pick. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to have the first overall pick, and the first projected pick is going to be Johnny Manziel, which brings us to, I believe it's right here. There you go, clear cut. With an impressive collegiate career, Johnny Manziel appears to be the favorite to go number one in the draft, and he is coming to us and the LA Raiders. So, uh, this series is for the channel. It's been one of the most popular. I'm very, very happy with the response you guys are giving it. Um, I, you know, it's helping our channel grow. We're almost at half a million views. Lifetime, we're at it. We're, we've been over a million views lifetime uh, for probably a little bit while, a little while now. But a lot of our videos we took down from the past before we were Beast Mode TV. But uh, I really I appreciate you guys watching this series. I'm gonna make this one try to. I don't, know, I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm going to make it different, but this series will be a lot better. I'm going to try to maybe adjust the sliders, because a lot of you guys know I won the MVP with Johnny Manziel's rookie year. I don't know how I did it. I had 30 touchdown, or 32 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. I think I had like 10 rushing touchdowns, which is very impressive with 40 total touchdowns. But 30 interceptions, you cannot give the MVP of the league um, to a guy with 30 interceptions, that many turnovers. But we're going to let her go right now. Uh, free agency already happened. It was similar to uh, what I did in season one. I basically scrapped the team. I kept like four or five players. The rest is all free agents, guys that I want for the way that I want to play. Uh, coaching staff, cut. The, I cleared that out. I got a level 28 uh, trainer, level 26 um, scout, and unfortunately, I got a level four head coach because all the high coaches in the 20s didn't have the defensive scheme. I want to run a 4-3 with this team. All the guys that were above from 10, level 10 to all the way up to level 30 were all attacking 3-4 or just a base 3-4 defense. I didn't want that. So the only guy that had a 4-3 defense was Jim Schwartz, the former head coach from the Detroit Lions. Um, and if, if Dennis Allen actually got fired from the Raiders this year, I wouldn't have been surprised if Jim Schwartz would have went there. He kind of has the bad boy mantra, which I guess you know kind of embodies what we're going to try to do with the LA Raiders, the kind of stigma I like to have around with this team. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I had to get him, he's only level 4, so he kind of brings the overall of my uh, coaching staff down, but you only do what you can do. Uh, we'll break into the free agency recap, and this is a general depth chart after we can, after the conclusion of the NFL draft, but let's jump into this right now. I can already tell you, I'll take Johnny Manziel first overall. Um, let's see here, I'll make my pick. We're still Oakland, I guess, we're not going to be LA yet, but I guess you have to wait for uh, the offseason to complete. But there we go, Johnny Manziel, 85 overall. Not a bad picture, at least like a lot of times if you guys are, any of you guys are also experienced uh, NCAA importing, uh, importing roster guy. Sometimes the pictures don't fucking match up. Like there was a chance right there Johnny Manziel could have looked Hawaiian or like a big fat O-lineman or something like that. So luckily he's not like a black guy or anything like that. I think uh, the season one Johnny Manziel picture kind of looked a little closer. But uh, this is not bad, not bad. So moving along here, advancing in the draft. So we do not have a third round pick, so we really need to hit home runs with the first two. And it's tough to where I want to go with the uh, second round pick. I've been thinking about this quite... Uh, I don't know who's even there. I either want to get Kelvin, uh, Kelvin Benjamin, who I doubt is still there. If Kelvin Benjamin is there, I'm going to get him. Where's my scouted guys? Kelvin Benjamin is not there. So then it comes down to... I don't really need wide receiver. 
I signed, uh, who'd I sign? I signed Dodd Baldwin from Free Agency, a beast from Seattle. He's having real good, do- real good time in the playoffs right now. So do I want to go Khalil Mack, or do I want to go Calvin Pryor? That's because free safety and right outside linebacker are my biggest needs. My right outside linebacker right now is Kevin Burnett. He's 32, but he's still 85 overall. And my free safety is Charles Woodson, who's 37. Um, I know from last year that my right outside linebacker, or Burnett, stayed for a couple seasons, and Woodson's going to retire. And Pryor had, ah, fuck. We're going to go Pryor. I don't have a third round pick. I can probably get a good depth guy at right outside linebacker. So we're going to go Calvin Pryor. He will be built to, uh, you know, be the franchise free safety. And we're going to go Vance to the next user pick. We don't have a third round pick because the fucking game somehow didn't want to reward me for going 1-15. They're like, no, you're only going to get the second round pick. They're second overall and not be able to get Johnny Menzel, not be able to do your YouTube Series C4. So the game is just being a fucking cut there. So we're picking up here with a first pick in the fourth round. So let's see what we got here for guys that are scouted. Uh, boom. Dante Moncrief is still there. The talented guy from Ole Miss. Jordan Matthew. A lot of wide receivers there. Jesus. Um, uh, what do we need? I still, I still get a right outside linebacker there though with uh, Ron Powell. Like, look, you just gotta look around ahead because that's when people start to jump. I really want Stanley John Baptiste. That is that guy's gonna be a beast. I think Philly's gonna get him. But that is a big jump. I probably could get that guy in the fifth round. So let's see. Running back I do need, but I think I will probably I don't want Bishop Sankey. Don't need D tackle. Left tackle, I'm good. I got Velda here. CJ Moulton good. Let's see uh Doyle Green Beckham, huh? That guy's probably a beast. Is that a Doriel Green Beckham? Who do you guys think I should get? Doriel Green Beckham? Ronald Powell. No, man, you can't take you can't not take a guy that that has that that's that fit okay, we're good. We're going Doriel Green Beckham. I remember when this guy came out of high school, he was like one of the most fucking We don't even need really need a wide receiver. But I personally don't like uh, who's the fucking guy I have right now? The guy from Tennessee. I can't. I don't know why I can't. I can remember his, his uh, college, but I can't remember his fucking his name. Whatever the fucking top wide receiver is, I can't remember his name. I don't have a fifth round pick. Oh no. Okay, if I can get if I can't get Stanley G. Baptiste, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, thank God, he's still there. We're getting him right now. This guy I want, and I want Trent Murphy if I can get him. That guy's an absolute stud, even though I, I'm pretty sure he's a three-four guy. Wonder if I could trade up. What do you want for the current pick? You need a D tackle tight end. I'll give you Michael Rivera. Or D tackle, huh? What do you got, D tackle? Trade that for Mike Patterson. Come on, come on! You know you want to give me Mike Patterson. You don't want Mike Patterson. Good old Phil. Fuck off. Come on! I probably there's actually a chance I could get that guy with how far everyone's still behind. But uh, they need wide receivers. Oh, there we go. I'll give you fucking that guy. I don't even want him. Denarius Moore. Do not want that guy. I don't know why. I'm just not a fan of Denarius Moore. Okay, add a pick. Will you do that? I'll give you Denarius Moore. Because I just don't like him. There we go. Fuck, man. I just gave an 84 overall wide receiver for a fucking fifth round pick. Just because I dislike him. Not a fan of Daenerys. I don't even know why. I just see him playing. I don't think he's that good. He's too hot and cold for me. But, and we also need... Look at all these guys. I could have fucking waited. Alright, we're getting Trent Murphy, though. I'm a big fan of this guy. I watch, I'm watching the uh, Senior Bowl highlights right now. This Trent Murphy guy is a fucking beast. Looks unblockable. Seventh round. Oh, se- I picked... I had two fucking six round picks... Oh my god, I fucked that up. Okay. I fucked that up. Holy shit. 
He would, I would definitely would have been able to get him there. Well, at least I can get a running back. Let's get last. I can get C Strunk. This is where it comes tough, people. Do I want to get C Strunk or do I want to get uh, Storm Johnson? It's an option. Tyler Gaffney, Trey Mason. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, who do I like though? I like Seastrunk a lot. Trey Mason was pretty good though. Gaffney's a beast from Stanford. Oh fuck, man! What are these options? Storm Johnson. I'm a big fan of Storm Johnson too. He's killing it. Yeah, cause I already did Seastrunk too. That's the thing. I already did with the. No, well, fuck. We'll go him. Okay. So you strunk, you're in. Oh my god, this video's gonna be like 15 minutes long. I apologize, but I know you guys watch this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to find a lot of these motherfucking undrafted free agents, though. A lot of, look, half the guys I scouted are gonna go undrafted. Okay, final round pick. Let's go with uh, Halipo's not a bad pick. Max Bullock, not bad. Jimmy Gaines, my boy. One Eeksum. I think, uh. Where do I need the most help? I, I signed Sean Lee in the free. That's the thing. I don't need a. Uh, I'm only doing it with four. Left outside is, uh. Don't need. John Halepo. Eh, yeah, we go right track. I'll get, uh. I'll get Santrell Henderson. I probably should get another running back. I think my only running back right now is Toby Gerhardt. But, uh... We have another 7th round pick. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, another 7th round pick. All right. Let's do this. I think I'm going to go with John Halepo from Florida. Get another right guard here. Who gives a fuck about this stuff? Let's be honest. No one really cares. John Halepo, though, good right guard out of Florida. I like this guy. He's going to be under underrated in the real for this upcoming draft. John Halepo. I might have a whole bunch of these because I traded. Like, I, when I blew up my team, I got a lot of fucking picks. Yeah, there we go. I'll say, I got a lot of fucking picks when I did that shit. Oh, I don't want. Oh, I got. Well, I got Trey Mason. I'm not gonna lie. I actually, probably was gonna go there. So that's kind of cool. Do I have another one? No, I don't. Draft is over. Let's end this draft. So I'm gonna keep it running though, because might as well just make it a clean 15 here. I got fucking. Cl I gotta get up and go to class. It's like midnight. Oh, past midnight here. As you can see, I'm getting rid of Marcel Reese for some reason. He's he went to shit in my, with my fucking offensive change here. So if I can get some good value for him, I'll do it. No, no, none of those deals are worth it. He's taking. He's coming off the trade block. None of those deals are worth it at all. Sean Hill, huh? Nah, I don't need you. Sammy Hill, Sean Hill, never. Let me just be able to look at my depth chart so I can finish this goddamn video up game. You want to fuck me around? Huh? Big guy? Huh? Hey, Tiamu. Well, I, I, only way I probably would trade a Marcel Reese if I get like at least a third rounder, second, third rounder, a good player. Um, unfortunately, there was no good available fullbacks uh, in the free agency period. So I guess I have to stick with my, Marcel Reese is like a 95 regular. And after my uh, offensive, or like an offensive strategy change, he's like a 76, which is pretty fucking garbage. Colin Jenkins, don't think so. Ben Watson. I'll get a real name, Almeida. All right, so we'll go look at my fucking team here, though. Let's check this depth chart out. We're going to show you what Season 2 of the LA Raiders is going to look like. Should we do it this way? No, we'll, 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 we'll go through it this other way. Is that 87? All right, we'll start from the boring side. Punter, we got this Chris Jones guy. I don't even know who he is, but he's an 88 overall punter. Vibe free agency. Horse kicker, Seabass, best kicker in the game. Uh, strong safety, Tyvon Branch. One of the guys I did retain him a bit. I really like Tyvon Branch. He's excellent in coverage. Uh, one of the best, co probably, I'd say the best coverage safety in the game. Him and Devin McCourty. I got Eddie Pleasant here just purely because he fit the scheme well. Uh, free safety. Uh, oh, fuck off. 66 for my second round pick. Whatever, we'll just have to. Uh, Raphael Bush was an absolute beast against uh, uh, Seattle in the playoffs this year. But I might as well cut him now because I need to get my other guy. I need to get more playing time. What am I going to take? That's not bad. 300. Free out of a middle cap room. Uh, we got well, Charles Woodson, the living legend himself. He's an absolute monster. Had a great season last year with Oakland. Uh, timeless. We got Calvin Pryor. He's hopefully going to be able to mold into a good starting free safety. 
Uh, as you can see in corner, we go big on this team. We're gonna we're gonna kind of mold the way that Pete Carroll molds his secondary. We got Talib, one of the best cover guys in the in the NFL right now. A little injury prone. We got six one two zero five. Chris Cook six two two twelve. DJ Hayden to play nickel five eleven one ninety one. Tommy Campbell six three two zero five. Chikwa six feet one ninety. And Stanley Jean Baptiste six three two twenty. An absolute monster. Uh, much like Richard Sherman, too, a good fact about him. He was, is a converted wide receiver to uh, quarterback. Draft will be drafted this in the real draft. Similar to Richard Sherman will be drafted, so this guy could be the next Richard Sherman. Hopefully he takes a gamble on him. Right outside linebacker, as I said, we needed to improve. Uh, fuck the guy I traded. Uh, we'll get rid of Miles Burr, so just because we need to get my young guys playing time. They're not going to be able to get it with these guys in front of the way. You have Kevin though, 31 years old, still 83. Trent Murphy, the beast from Stanford, will be the depth guy there for now. Uh, middle linebacker, we got Sean Lee, Nick Roach, and Brian Roll. Uh, Brian Roll, a speed guy. Nick Roach, more of a well-rounded. And Sean Lee's a beast. Didn't really fit my system well, but I needed a good middle linebacker, so we're going with him. Uh, outside linebacker, we got Sile Moore, a very, very good uh, rookie season. Uh, the, the left outside linebacker out of Connecticut. And we got John, Jonathan Casillas from uh, Gunner Free Agency from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Very, very fast outside linebacker. Defensive tackle, we got Paul Soliai, the run stopper. Jason Hatcher from the scum of the Dallas Cowboys, but you guys know I'm in love with Jason Hatcher, even though he's on the Cowboys. I'm a big finesse move guy, and he is by far the best finesse moves for a defensive tackle. Like I, he's, I can't remember a defensive tackle that had as good finesse moves as him. Maybe Warren Sapp. Uh, we got Vance Walker, who fed the scheme well. We got my boy Mike Patterson, former Philadelphia Eagles. Still like the guy, even though he's on the Giants, I think. That's a pretty solid defensive tackle line. We got Greg Hardy from Free Agency, a beast from uh, Carolina. Uh, we got Martez Wilson, the converted outside linebacker. This guy here, look at his pace for a defensive end. All right. Where's his fucking speed? 87 speed for a defensive end. So hopefully a uh, depth guy will be able to come in uh, different various packages. Obviously won't be getting starting reps. Uh, left end, we got Michael Bennett from Free Agency. Uh, didn't really want him, but uh, he was pretty much the only good upgrade. My fucking out left, out or left ends are pretty shit. Uh, Brian Robinson is good fast. Uh, outside pass rusher again. Him and Martez will be able to come in in different packages to get after the quarterback. O line, we got Metalik Watson, the beast from NCAA 14 Ultimate Team. Uh, we got Jason Fox there, Central Henderson, the rookie. I'm gonna keep him just because I might be able to move him around a little bit. Uh, right guard, we got the big prize free agency. As you when you drop, when you only have five people on your roster, you have a lot of cap and stuff to work with. So that's why we got the best free agency. John Aspin, 94 overall. Uh, we got Mike. Breezel, 77, guy, he's depth, kept him, and Halapo, the rookie. At uh, center, we got Wisniewski and Slowey. I don't really know why, but uh, I don't know why I had that many good centers. I probably could, I might actually put that guy on the trade block. I did sign him, I guess I forgot I had a good center. Wisniewski, we got this Hawkson guy who's 83, I never heard of him, but uh, 83, that's not bad at all, considering I got him relatively cheap. We got Casey Studdard, the former left guard from Tennessee. Left tackle, we got Velda here, probably the best Oakland Raider. Uh, on their actual current roster right now. He's a beast. And I got left tackle Max Stice. You need that playoff experience guy for a nice depth on the O-line. Tight end, we got Charles Clay. Got him from a trade from Miami. I think I got him for... Um, what did I trade for him? I think it might have been Darren McFadden. I'm not sure. But I think I got him the Darren McFadden trade. We kept Rivera here. A nice young tight end. Usually, if I have two tight ends, my second tight end, I usually want to be better in blocking. But what can you do? Wide receiver, we got Rod... Oh, fuck, Beckham sucks. Okay, we got uh, Rod Streeter as a top wide receiver. We're going to need some wide receiver help. Uh, 6'3", 200 pounds. He's fast from Temple. Um, I'll be able to do some damage with him. Doug Baldwin, again, came over free agency. He's a good player. Uh, Tony Andre Holmes is 6'5", with 91 speed, so that's just a mismatch nightmare, even though he might not have the best uh, well-rounded skill set. Brutler as well, 6'3", big taller set wide receiver with lots of speed. And then, of course, Dory Beckham. Doriel Green back of 6'6", 225. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, this guy's going to need a lot of fucking work, but uh, we'll make it happen. Fullback, we're going to keep... Oh, they must have been lying to me, but fullback, we got Marcel Reese keeping him. We get him off the trade block. Let's do that right now. There we go. Marcel Reese, thank you for staying here. Uh, what, running back, we got Gerhardt, Latavius Murray, Trey Mason, and Lashay Seastrunk. Obviously, we're going to battle it out see which one I want the most. Garrett will take a lot of snaps, but he's not fast enough. He'll be more of a third down goal line back. And one of the Murray, Mason, or Seastrock will need to stand out to be my true running back until I can draft a Todd Gurley or someone like that in the upcoming drafts. Of course, quarterback, we got Johnny Menzel, 83 overall, first round draft pick. The guy that hopefully is bringing you guys in. 
and Gerard Johnson as his depth. But there you go, guys. There's a very nice looking uh, LA Raider franchise team for the Tech to Career Season 2. Uh, as always, make sure you subscribe to Beast Mode TV for more of Season 2 of the Connected Career of the LA Raiders and following John Mozell on his path to becoming the best quarterback in the NFL. I also leave a smash the like button, leave a comment in the comment section below for what you want to see for this upcoming Season 2. If you've managed to watch this time, I thank you very much. It's your boy C4 saying peace out, guys. Peace, peace, peace.